Hey there everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a jewelry DIY for you all. I'm going to be making these above knuckle rings or mini rings. Not to be confused with my name, but they're spelled completely different. All you're going to need for this is 22 gauge wire, round nose pliers, wire cutters, and a tube of something to wrap your wire around. Also some embellishments like crystals, pearls, and chains. First we're going to start out with making the bow. You're going to cut a long piece of the wire. Wrap it around your tube and then try it on and make any adjustments. Then you should have two stems poking out. With your round nose pliers, you're going to take the left stem, bend it inward, and then you're going to take your right stem and bend it inward as well. When you're done, you should have two little loops that kind of form a bow. Now here comes the tricky part. So you're going to take one of these stems, bend it backward up and around the middle of the bow. Then you're going to cut off or snip off any extra stem. You don't want the stems too long because then they might poke you. And now you have a cute little above knuckle bow ring. Next I'm going to show you how to make a simple design. All you're going to do is again cut off a piece of the wire, wrap it around your tube, then cut off any excess stem. Once you're done with that, you're going to take a crystal or bead and place it on the ring where the two stems meet. And that's how simple it is to make and if you want you can make multiple ones, stack them on top of each other or mix and match them. So now I'm going to show you how to make a swirl design. So what you're going to do is, again, cut a piece of your wire, wrap it around your tube, cut off any excess stem. Then with your round nose pliers, you're going to take the ends of the stem, create a loop, and start bending it inward. So once you're done with that, you should end up with a swirl effect. Then you could just repeat the process to the top stem. So if you want, you can leave it like that, or what I did was I went back in and added two pearls to the ends of the stems. So now this one is going to be another little simple design. It's very similar to the second one that I just showed you. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut off a piece of the wire, wrap it around your tube, and then cut off the excess stems. And at the ends of the stems, you're just going to add two crystals or beads, whatever you prefer. So this one's a little bit more complicated to do. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut a piece of wire five inches long. Then you're going to wrap it around your tube about three times. Then when you're done with that, you're going to take your round nose pliers and at each stem, you're going to make two little loops that go inward. Next, you're going to make another one to wear as a regular ring. Now this one you're going to try on both rings and then grab your chain and measure from loop to loop. Once you got the size down, you're going to cut it. And then attach the chain. So this is optional, but I went back in and I added pearls to the ends of the loops. So there you have it, five designs that you could choose from to make, or you could just get inspiration off of this and make your own designs. Thank you all for watching, and until next time, I will see you later. Bye!